Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can write data back to Excel from R. So for example if you have any of the R object and you have a need to write the analysis back to Excel so that you can distribute it to your users who may or may not have R but wants to see the analysis that you have done then you know they can easily open the Excel file because that's like the most mostly used uh, spreadsheet program and most business users have it in their laptop so we will utilize the iris data which is uh, the most uh, commonly used data set within r uh, to write it back to the excel file so if you don't have c it you can simply go ahead and type iris which is like an inbuilt uh, data set within r and it has uh, some 150 observations as you can see it so let me clean it so L which I will press for cleaning it the screen and the first option is to create the workbook so for that let's create a workbook iris underscore WP and we will use the command load workbook we will write the name which is let's say iris WP in this case workbook dot xlsx and create is equals to true yes we want to create it and then after creating creating rs underscore wb we need to create the sheet so we will enter create sheet and the object is iris underscore wb and the name of the sheet let's say iris only for this uh, scenario and after that uh, we will be writing into the worksheet write worksheet and it will ask couple of options first one is object that means the workbook which is iris underscore wp and then the data is the iris and then the sheet name sheet name we mentioned as iris as we created earlier and then we need to specify the start row and start column if you don't specify then it will pick the first row and first column as a starting point and keep on writing it as per the uh, data requirement or the number of columns or rows data has so for to demonstrate this let's use start row as 5 and start column as uh, 5 and we want to specify let's say header is there and header is equals to true so it will write it into the worksheet which is uh, iris under the workbook iris underscore wb what it will write is this iris data set which is in r it will start from the fifth row and it will start from the fifth column and keep on writing it and we are specifying that yes it has header so let's go to the end and hit enter and after this we need to save it workbook to the disk so save workbook iris underscore wb and we are done so so far uh, we have just created uh, if we go back we created a workbook iris underscore wb by this name iris underscore wb dot xlsx and we have created the sheet iris within this workbook and then we have write the iris data set in this workbook and within this iris sheet the starting position of writing in case of row is 5 and even in case of column it is 5 and we are specifying header is true after we have done all this we are saying that we need to save the workbook so that it is saved in file so how you can find uh, where you have uh, saved the workbook well it is easy you can use the command get wt that means the working directory if you don't know that you can use this command get wt and it is c users shake document and r and i have it here so as you can see iris under wb the name that we have given iris wb.xls we it is being created here and if i open it you can see it is starting from the fifth row first second third fourth fifth first first column second column third column fourth column fifth column it has uh, 
highlighted the head header as we have specified that yes it has header and it is going all the way up to the row 150 to give you the values now with this you can take the data uh, from R into Excel and distribute it to your users and show your analysis so uh, that is one thing uh, or one way of uh, writing the data but uh, if we have like uh, more um, you know uh, in this case we have created more than uh, created the worksheet in more than one step but there is a step uh, which takes care of uh, all this load create uh, write save workbook in just one uh, in one way or in one go uh, which is uh, which is uh, um, write uh, worksheet from file so if I just hit write worksheet so earlier we have used write worksheet here in this case, uh, it's like a third statement after load workbook and create workbook, we use the write worksheet. But write worksheet from file does all of these things. That means uh, loading the workbook and creating it, creating the worksheet uh, and you know saving it in just one statement. So let's quickly go ahead and uh, utilize this by creating, a, uh, by creating the file iris wb1 as a separate file uh, for via this option so let's enter uh, the option right worksheet to file and it will uh, ask the file name so the file name we, we need to specify is um, iris wb1.xlsx the data which is iris uh, the sheet uh, let's give it a name iris because we are creating it in a different worksheet iris and iris wb1 and earlier we created iris wb but it can has the same sheet because the workbook is different okay and uh, once we have done this it's pretty much the similar options like here in this case we have given the start row 5 so in this case let's give a start row as 3 and start column is equals to three and you want to specify that yes it has a header so let's hit enter and uh, see this in action so it has not given us any error that means whatever we have specified is perfectly fine and now is the time we need to see iris wb1 worksheet within our uh, working directory which is this so let me go here and here is the iris wb1 the one which we have specified here so if i open this and this time it has started from a different location which we specified i think what we specified is third row and third column probably so that's how uh, you can minimize all these different step in just one go uh, by utilizing this uh, write worksheet to file function and uh, create it comparatively in a faster way. Apart from this, uh, if you have a need where you need to write a named range or create a named range of the data set in which you are exporting into the Excel, then you can basically use the write named region function so what it does is basically when you export it uh, the data into the excel from r it will going to create a named range for you so similarly like a create function it has uh, two different function write named region in which you need to do all of these different step load workbook create sheet write worksheet and all of those things instead of uh, write worksheet you need to specify the uh, right named region and the relevant parameters and if you want to wrap all of these different step into one uh, similarly to write worksheet to file function you can use the right named region to file in that way you don't have to specify all of these different uh, parameters in different functions but all of the parameter in just one function it will do entire thing in one statement if you're not sure how to do it you can simply Take a help by putting a question mark and say write named region 
and it will give you all the help which you need but it is since it is very similar to the one which i've just explained i am leaving it up to you and uh, to try it and utilize it so that's all i want to discuss in this video and i will meet you in the new video with a new topic